What's up guys, it's me, your badass host, Draven, and welcome to another episode of our Pokemon Y walkthrough. Okay, so in our last episode, we saved all of Pokeball kind by, well, going into the Pokeball factory, saving them and all that stuff from Team Flare and all that crud. Yeah, we, 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 we are truly heroes and, uh, yay, hooray. <laughs> yeah, it sounds very, very, uh, you know, I sound very delighted and all that stuff. But anywho, let's go ahead and continue on our adventure right here, guys. Uh, yeah. So we won our sixth badge. We did everything we could. We got ourselves a Master Ball. And, uh, huh, this guy is talking about a, uh, a, a fairy guy or a fairy type, um, what was it called? A legend and all that stuff. So here we are in Route 15, Brunway. And as you guys can see, it is autumn. And uh, there are spots right here, which uh, you can find items or people. So just be aware of that, guys. You will be in for a battle. And look at this. We found ourselves a netball. This right here will enable us to capture some pretty cool Pokemon when it comes to, you know, everything else. And, well, let's see. You could be battling people, which we will be doing. And uh, you could be catching some interesting Pokemon as well. And, uh, well, let's see. Let's go right ahead and just battle. So, let's go against Hex Maniac Luna, and she's going to be coming out with a Chimeco right here. And here we go with Moko. Now, the goal is to evolve Moko maybe once or twice or in the next few episodes and all that stuff. But in the meantime, <coughs> let's go with Blade. Yes, we are still going with the comps right here, guys, because your boy gets sick every so often, or it's become a little bit easier for him to get sick. I don't know. He'll be okay. The coughs still stay. Let's go straight for... Let's go for that. And yes, we're gonna... Yeah, we're gonna be going for a, a Night Slash. And that right there is super effective. Now, we are gonna have to switch out our Pokemon. Because there was a Yawn attack right here. Nova grows to level 43. Yeah, I didn't even check how many Pokemon she had. Of course... All right, let's move on right here. There will be some interesting Pokemon. There are items right here that you can actually grab, too. And, uh... <coughs> well, of course, me being the curious mind that I am, I just wanted to show you what kind of Pokemon you can find right here, like Fungus. Hmm. And, yes, this is a big no-no because I do not want to get attacked by this Pokemon. All right. And there you go, a Pokemon Ranger just pops out of nowhere, scares the crud out of us. And <coughs> the name is Silas, and he's got himself a Quagsire. All right, Quagsire, how's it going? How you looking? And, well, let's go straight for none of those attacks and go straight for Jordan the Goat. Mainly because, you know, grass that Pokemon and all that stuff. It's, a, it's It should be funny. Now, I did, see a, I did see a meme out there. It's pretty hilarious. It was what? Um, what was the meme? Oh, yeah. What was it? Water and ground type Pokemon, but then you got a Razor Leaf. It's like, guess I'll die by one Razor Leaf. That was a meme. It was funny. Don't know if uh, you guys have seen it, but there it is. We have defeated the uh, Quagsire. And because of his yawn attack, we are put to sleep. And here comes a Bear Tech. Now, this is a new one. Let's go straight for Star Fox right now. Alrighty. Alrighty. Let's go. Star Fox, how's it going? And Bear Tech is probably out of its element right here because it's, yeah, it's a big old polar bear and all that stuff. So here we go. Flamethrower for the win. Mm hmm. Alrighty. Okay, so Jordan the Goat grows to level 45. Silas has been defeated. <coughs> and again, still coughing. Alrighty, so let's see. What else can we find right here? Probably some more Pokemon trainers. This little area. And you'll be finding this a revive. I believe in our last episode, we found ourselves a max revive. It's kind of like I was saying. They should, they should sell max revives. I mean... Don't just sell them for cheap. I mean, you know, they are a pretty a pretty rare item, so might as well just sell them for, like, a nice price and all that stuff. Kind of like uh, full restores. Now, here we are in front of another tree, and we found ourselves a Lepa Berry. That right there will be going into our berries, items, and all that stuff. And, well, 
we're getting attacked by more Pokemon trainers. I did not... Well, like... Okay, maybe I did sneak up on you like that. So, here we are taking on Pokemon Ranger Dean. He will be coming out with a... Uh, wait, I completely forgot to see this right here. Yeah, he came out with a Watchog. Okay, so that Pokemon right there is always... It's always a freaky looking Pokemon just because of its eyes. Kind of reminds me of like the Looney Tunes and all that crud. So... Let's go ahead and switch it out to Nacho Libre, and here comes a Hyper Fang. Not so effective, but it does take a nice amount of uh, HP. So here we go. High Jump Kick. And there we go. High Jump Kick for the win. And, well, here comes a Swoobat. Let's go straight for Nova and see what Nova can do for us right here. And uh, let's see. I wonder if I, I wonder if I do have, I wonder if I do have a sunstone and all that stuff. Because maybe it is time to evolve uh, our good old buddy Nova. Maybe. Forgot to check the levelings and all that stuff. So here we go. Thunderbolt attack for the win. Say goodbye to Swoobat. And there you go. More points for us. And yes, look at this. Getting ourselves a little bit of a boost with our leftovers. And here he comes out with a Seedra. So what we're going to do is we're going to keep it going on. Seedra, of course. We had it back in Generation 1. Our good old buddy, uh, what was it called? Uh, Torpedo. Probably should use it. Probably should have it. Probably should bring it in here or something like that. I do. Well, do I have it? Nah, I don't know. So Moko grows to level 40. I think it's about to evolve. Probably. I don't know. Is it? Digivolution time. Well, I was just going off on a limp, but Moko is finally growing into a big old snot bubble right here. I am impressed. I'm proud. Which means it will it, it, it can actually fight now. It like you know it, it always could fight. The thing is, we just didn't know how. Well, it was not that strong. And well, there it is, guys. We got ourselves a Sligu. This Pokemon. Yes, it's a pretty it's a pretty nice Pokemon. Now, it's kind of like I was saying, Rain Dance. Rain Dance, it, you should have Rain Dance on it if you're trying to look for a place that is rainy. Cuz it, it's going to be very very hard right here in Pokemon X and Y. It doesn't really tell you the lo exact location, but as you guys can see, here we have Sligu, Moko, the level 40 Pokemon, Dragon type Pokemon. Has a very good special defense and it does have Sap Sipper. Which, of course, boosts the attack when it's hit by a grass-type move. And, uh, well, let's see. Rain Dance during the battle, and if it levels up to its evolutionary... To its ev evolutionary, uh... Well, its evolutionary level, it will evolve into its final form. That is through rain, so just keep that in mind, guys. We will have Rain Dance for just a little bit. And, uh, well, it's gonna be a long and arduous road. Now... Let's go ahead and heal up our Pokemon right here. Let's see. And thankfully, off screen, we did buy ourselves quite a few potions, you know, revives and uh, full restores. Honestly, I probably should have just not wasted money on, uh, like, hyper potions and stuff. I should have just, uh, I should have just bought full restores. And, uh, well, there we go. Wasting super potions. And we're going to wake this guy up because, well, you know, can't sleep on the job right here, so... Where is you? Okay, so we're wasting up all the regular the regular uh, healing items right here. And, well, let us move on. Getting attacked by Pokemon trainers or something. Now, I think, yeah, that was a, yeah, we already defeated that trainer right there. And this guy is going to be looking at us. If I weren't a certain uh, benefactor of mine, if it weren't for a certain benefactor of mine, I wouldn't be a Pokemon Ranger today. I want to know what that benefactor would be. Okay, so here we are taking on Pokemon Ranger Keith, and he is going to be coming out with Gabite. And there we go. Gabite, how's it going? Meet Sligu. And we're both Dragon-type Pokemon. This Pokemon right here is a little faster than us, so yeah. Wow. Okay. Well, that experiment went well. It went super well. Fantastic. Great. Awesome. Of course, I'm being sarcastic right here. So, we got to revive this Pokemon. We got to revive our Pokemon. Ugh. See? Science experiment's gone wrong. 
Okay, so Moko, wake up. All right, Gabite, time to, uh... Oh, crap. Crap baskets. Okay. Let's see. What can we do? We gotta switch out Pokemon. Any Pokemon, uh... You know what? Blade. Blade is a ghost-type Pokemon, so... Hopefully, it has, like, some secret levitate or something like that. And... Well... Nope, I was incorrect right here. So, let's see. Yes, you get hit by a rocky helmet. Completely forgot all about that. Let's go with a shadow sneak just to get this guy first. And bam. Yes, you're getting critical hit. Here comes a dual chop. And again, Blade, still a steel type Pokemon. Still has a rocky helmet. This guy is still getting hurt. And we win by not doing stuff. Yeah, buddy. Okay, alrighty. Alrighty, and just like that, Blade grows to level 45. And it wants to learn Iron Head. Okay. Iron Head, let's see. It's a much more powerful move. We're going to take away Aerial Ace because there's really... We haven't really used Aerial Ace as much. And, well, just like that, we have... Uh, just like that, we have defeated the Pokemon Ranger. And, well, gotta go right here. And there's another Pokemon Ranger hiding. This guy wants us to interview him. And, well, here we are taking on Pedro. And he's gonna be coming out with his Vile Plume. Holy buckets. Okay, so, yeah, Moko's not gonna be doing good anytime soon. We just, uh, yeah. <laughs> We're setting it up for failure. So let's go with Star Fox and see what it can do right here. Alrighty, bring it on, bring it on, Vileplume, and here comes a Stun Spore attack. Yeah, it's yeah, it's not my favorite, not my favorite types of move. So here we go, will or fire, uh, flamethrower, I should say, and that is not super effective. But here comes flamethrower attack for the win, and say goodbye to Vileplume, and well, Vileplume's not a happy camper right now. And the rest of our Pokemon getting some points. Nova grows to level 44, while Nacho Libre grows to level 47. And just like that, we are winners. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, let's move on to the next six, uh, section right here. Here, we're going to be finding ourselves a Dire Hit. This is uh, the equivalent, the item equivalent of a Focus Energy, where it boosts up the critical hit ratio. And, yes, we are going to Surf right here. Because we will be able to find some stuff right here. I believe. No, there's not going to be any, somebody that wants to battle us through the air. Heck, even Nacho's not considered a uh, flying type Pokemon. Or a true flying type Pokemon, which is annoying. Okay, so, yeah. That is not going to happen. Sligu. Okay, so, let's see. There is a hidden item right here. Which I probably shouldn't be on my roll blades for. And that right there, will we will be finding ourselves a PP up. And, well, let's see. We just go right here. And right there, we're going to be going straight to the next part right here. And there are no items. It will return us back to this tree. So I think we've already uncovered a lot of the, the stuff right here. So now we have to do is go over this bridge. And uh, we will be finding some more stuff. Now, before we do anything, I'm going to heal up my Pokemon because, well, shoot. It's the healthiest thing to do. They've been through a, a little bit. Actually, we've already done that. Let's go with a Hyper Potion. I should have done that to, <laughs> should have done that to Sligu right here. And let's go with Blade. And just like that, let's go right ahead and switch up our Pokemon. Let's go with Jordan. Jordan the Goat. It has been a while since I've seen you in action. And, of course, we're going to get attacked by a Pokemon. Probably should... Yeah, we probably should put on a, a Repel or something. And look at this. We're taking on a Fungus. A Mofungus Fungus. Yeah, definitely not going to do something like that. Okay. So let's go right here. And what we will be finding is just a few of these well just one of these a full restore or full heal i should say and nothing else you should love the art right here 
back in the day. This was like about 10 years ago, guys. Yeah, 10 whole years where 3D was a thing now. And, uh, you know, we were all wondering if like that mega evolution from Mew 2 was Mew 3 and all that stuff. Huh. There is something that, you know, I, I do wish Pokemon would come back with, and that is Mega Evolution, especially with this Terra, Terra whatever rising or something like that. All these forms that they're coming out with, and I kind of wish they would uh, change it up just a tad bit or bring back some of the stuff. And, well, let's see. I'm going to go with a Seed Bomb to Floet and a Thunderbolt to that person right there because, well, yeah, we has to. And... Look at that. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty. And Moko grows a little 41. Here comes a Thunderbolt attack. And Driftblim. Yes. Paying the consequences. Here we go. Alright. That right there didn't really work out in our favor. So let's go with the Seed Bomb to Driftblim. And go with a Thunderbolt right here. And the Seed Bomb... We'll finish off Driplim, even though it's not super effective. And, well, look at that. Jordan the Goat grows to level 46. And Nova getting some points, too. And just like that, we win our double battle. It's pretty fantastic, guys. Very fantastic. Okay. So, let's see. There is, there is a spot right here where you do need Rock Smash. Holy crud. Okay. Yeah, we need Rock Smash for this one, and uh, I think I took Rock Smash away. Let's see. Yeah, thankfully, it is a... Um, what was it called? Uh, okay, first and foremost, let's see. Do I... Okay, so, yeah. I always want to make sure that I have the move to replace. I'm going to give it to Blade right here, because I can take away its Swords Dance, and then replace it afterwards. That way, I can get through these areas. Again, it's uh, it's pretty cool here in Generation Six where they took or they made Rock Smash a, a TM rather than an HM. Never really saw why it would be an HM in the first place, especially when in Generation Two it just they made it like that. Whirlpool, dive, these kinds of moves. I mean, the only moves that I, I would consider a true HM would be like what Surf, a Waterfall, and uh, heck, even Defog was like, why in the heck do they have Defog? Why in the heck do they have Defog as a as an HM if they're not even going to use it as much, you know, in future generations? And, well, let's see. We're going to get a, a, a hollow clip message right here. And it is none other than Lissandre. He's like, according to Professor Sycamore's research, Mega Evolution releases all of a Pokemon's hidden energy at once. The Pokemon then exhibits a level of power it could not obtain through ordinary evolution. What meaning can we draw from this? Do all people with Pokemon have such potential, or is it hidden within a chosen few? Probably. It's one or the other. Could be. I don't know. All right. So, let's see. Before we do anything, there are... Oh, wow. We're going to be battling another trainer right here. Little girl right here wants to battle us with her fairy-type Pokemon. And here is Meh Mahalin. It's a pretty interesting name right there. Coming out with the de ne ne ne. I love saying it like that because it's fun. The de ne 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 ne. And uh, well, let's go with a strength attack right here. And oh my God, that charge beam attack, not so effective. But here comes strength. And that almost takes out the de ne ne ne. So here we go, seed bomb. And there goes the de ne ne. It almost kind of like it almost says it like when 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 he faints and all that stuff. And here comes Aromatize. So let's go straight for Nacho Libre. Yes, knowing that it is weak against Fairy type Pokemon, but we do have that move, you know, that move right there. Uh, poison Jab. Yeah, that move. Although Aromatize is a little bulky, so let's go straight for a Poison Jab. And. That almost defeats it, but it does get to get it poisoned. And here comes a flail attack. This one will hit us pretty hard. And of course, being poisoned, it will lose some HP right here. So let's go right ahead and finish it off with one more poison jab. 
And there you go. Alrighty. Okay. Look at that. Alrighty. So, another victory for us. Mahalen defeated. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty. And, uh, well, there is an extra... There is an extra location right here. And what we're going to be doing is we're going to be battling. Uh, <laughs> did you hear a voice, too? That's why you're here, right? Uh-huh. Hmm. That's odd. That is very odd. So here we are taking on Hex Maniac Carrie, and she is coming out with a, a, lo a Litwick. So we're going to go with Jordan the Goat right here. Longhorn and all that stuff. And going straight for a Bulldoze attack. And uh, yes. Okay, so it actually does work against this Pokemon. And we get some more experience points. And what's going to happen is a Duosion is going to be coming out. Let's go straight for Blade and see what it can do right here. Blade. All right, Blade. See what you can do. Let's get it. And let's go straight for a Night Slash. And see if that actually works out. And yes, it does. Duosion is defeated. Oh my god. All righty. And there we go. Just like that, we defeated another trainer. Now, there is a there is another area right here in which you can go to downstairs. I kind of want to save that for later on because there, there, there are two sections to this place. And, uh, well, let's see. Another uh, repel. Yes, I do. I want to use Rock Smash right here because there is a Pokeball close by. And we're going to grab this. And as you guys can see, we found ourselves a Macho Brace, which, as many of you guys already know, it increases the stats or it increases the, what was it called, the attack stats, the IV values and all that stuff while lowering your speed. So if you guys want to max out your Pokemon's IVs, there it is. But like I was saying, we're going to go down here in a future episode or so because it actually goes towards this area right here. And strength will be needed. I think we are able to use strength, but I kind of want to go here. And that is into the next town, which is named Dedenemelele Town. Why, hello, Draven. Oh, look at this, Professor Sycamore. How have you been? How's your journey going? You see, when I was younger, I visited many regions as well. I met many kinds of Pokemon and noticed how each place has its own distinct flavors. So I really came to enjoy try, uh, try new foods as I traveled. Because of my adventures, I am an expert on the cafe on on the cafes of all Kalos. Um, Professor, come now, Dixio. I'm going somewhere with this. Do you remember the Pokemon uh, the Pokemon Lissandre mentioned in the cafe? Yeah. Wonderful, I knew you would. Kalos' legendary Pokemon is called Evital. According to the material I've read, those who saw it were so overwhelmed by its power, they were able to say that this Pokemon resembled the letter Y. Apparently, this Pokemon will absorb energy. Its lifespan is said to be a thousand years. When it reaches its end of its life, it seals all of the spirits around it. Wherever, you do, uh, wherever do you think a Pokemon that amazing could be now? When Kalos' legendary Pokemon loses all its vitality, it goes to sleep in a secret place. I don't have a clue where it could be. The writings that mention it are also around 8,000 years old, so there aren't much help. It would be absolutely astounding if you found it, Draven. Maybe I'll look into the legend a little bit. If I find something, I'll let you know. <laughs> oh, it would be a thrill if you found it indeed. But your journey is yours and your Pokemon's alone. I want you to enjoy yourself and do whatever you'd like. Hmm, what a nice person. Anywho, we're going to get uh, talk to this guy. He's like, mm, is that Professor uh, gone already? I was hoping to have him look at my Pokedex in person. Oh, well, I can get it. Uh, I can still get my Pokedex evaluated in Pokemon Center's PC. Anyway, I'm heading off to look uh, for Pokemon in the Frost Cavern and fill up on more on my Pokedex. Ah, whatever you say, homeboy. Anywho... If there was anything that they should improve upon Pokemon X and Y when a remake come out, because there will be remakes, guys, after the Unova regions, and hopefully it won't be in chibi form because good gravy, it was in chibi form. Um, something they could improve upon is 
actually having us locate the spot where Evil Tall and Xerneas were from. Uh, expand a little bit more on, on Xerneas. Or not Xerneas, but um, Zygarde. I mean, they they didn't give us a third uh, third version for this uh, this generation, guys. A whole lot of stuff that they could have expanded on, and hopefully we'll get it in in, in a uh, remake here sooner rather than later. Hell, maybe they'll skip uh, the Unova region and just go straight to Kalos because they kind of owe us that. I'm just saying. But anywho, guys, thank you guys again for watching. Thank you guys again for being patient as always. In the next episode, we'll be exploring this whole area and then probably going to the Frost Cavern. I'll see you guys.